My name's Rebecca and I'm 16. So when I was eight years old, I was diagnosed with a type of soft tissue um, cancer. And I'm now 16 and I've relapsed um, three times now. My name's Keith Foxen. I am a patient at the Boy Robson uh, unit. I am 48 years old. I was diagnosed with um, stage four bowel cancer in early 2017. I was um, I went through two rounds of chemotherapy, which had no effect on my tumours. We do trials to patients who've got cancer, have run out of treatment options, and are therefore interested in it going on an experimental trial. You can look at a cancer cell in a dish and look at what's gone wrong, and try and target that and kill the cell in the dish. But that's much easier than trying to kill and get rid of that cell inside a human. And we explain that to patients, how there is so much uncertainty. And I think the really humbling thing for me when I'm in clinic is almost all of our patients say, well, if it doesn't help me, it might help somebody else and that would be enough. I've been involved in eight clinical trials over the years. The main reason why I do it really is because I want to help other people in the future so that, that it can be better for them. But it, it also feels really good that people years ago tried these trials and that sort of helped me as well. The trials that come through the, the, the foundation will be the sort of backbone of the next treatments. Kind of one of the most important things for taking part. You know, even if it didn't work, even the failures lead you to learn more about how, how to improve drugs and how to make things better for the next patient. The foundation has, it has been amazing, the support, and that's been places like Newcastle Building Society, local people. We've been proud to be able to donate over mm. three million pounds, uh, and that's enabled the work of Professor Plummer, the amazing research that they've been doing, which has literally changed the lives and the outlook for uh, individuals themselves, but also for their families. So we've been so proud to be able to support that work our members have been part of that journey and continue to be part of that journey and we are proud on their behalf to be uh, continuing to support the Zoli Robson Foundation. It's important that the charity gets funded because the more that gets donated then the more research gets put into trials and it can help not just me but other children as well. These trials are going to help so many more people down the line that it is vital that it is funded. 50% of people with my diagnosis will be dead within um, 12 months. Since starting in the uh, Robson unit, I've been on the same immunotherapy trial for four and a half years. It's brought me three and a half years of extra life so far. Bought me three and a half years more with my son. Cancer is something that will affect every single one of us in our lives in some way, shape or form. And if we can play some small part in working with organisations like the Bobby Robson Foundation that we know will make such an incredible difference, then we're only too happy to do so.